welcome to another lecture. In this lecture, we're going to go ahead and um, try to find out the diameter of the pin. Take a look at the problem on the board. The diameter of the pin at uh, A and uh, at B, based on this <coughs> three cube force on this truss, and also uh, the stresses, the allowable stresses given to us, the shear stresses given to us is a 6 KSI. To solve this type of problem, one of the first thing you do, you're going to draw the free body diagram. And here's the free body diagram of that problem. Where we have our reaction, we're going to just replace it with the force. As you can see, this force, three kips is pulling on this truss. When is it pulling on this truss? It's going to cause this end to come up, and therefore our reaction is going to hold it down. It's going downward. And the reaction and dy, it's going to be opposite uh, on the other end. Um, when we have a free body diagram, we can easily solve the problem. And how we do that, we're going to use the equilibrium equation. And there's three of them. Summation f of x, summation f of y, and take a moment, summation of f moment. And here, let's go ahead and solve this by uh, uh, summation f of moment. Let's take a moment about point D. That way I can calculate my reaction at Ay. So summation moment about point D. D, that's right, counterclockwise is positive, is equal to zero. I'm going to start from this end, and this force is going to rotate about point B counterclockwise. So I consider it positive, Ay times 12. And then there's nothing here until I get over here. This cannot take a moment about itself. It's in the same spot. So this can take a moment about this point, and that's going to be clockwise, so it's going to be negative. It's going to be minus 3 times 8 equals 0, and therefore Ay comes out to 2 kips. Now, then we're going to do a summation f of x is equal to 0. Go and uh, write as positive. You have 3 minus Ax is equal to 0. Our Ax comes out to 3 kips. The next one we have is summation f of y, which we don't need at this problem, but anyway, is equal to 0. We have Ay, which is minus uh, 2 plus dy is equal to 0. So dy comes out to 2. Good. But now we have our final reaction. We'd like to know what the diameter of this pin is. So to find the diameter of that pin, one of the th first thing I want to do, I want to find out what the FA is going to come out to. So FA, it should come out to square root of um, AXY, AX squared, plus AY squared, which comes out to 3 squared and 2 squared. And that comes out to 16. I have that as 3.6 kips. All right, when we have a double shear pin here, take a look at the diagram. Therefore, uh, our shear stress, it's going to be at A, VA divided by area of A. And we have uh, 6 kip is equal. But let's find VA. VA is FA, since the double divided by 2, 3.6 divided by 2, 1.8. So I'm going to have 1.8 by the area. So the area of the pin is a round pin. It's going to be pi divided by 4 diameter of A squared equal. So if you calculate that, the diameter comes out to close to 0 0.6 something. 0.618. And if you convert that to uh, uh, by 16, the nearest one would be 5.8. So let's use 5.8 diameter. Now we're going to go ahead and move over to find out the pin B, size of the pin B. Same thing. We know the allowable shear stress is equal to 6. And that's mean VB divided by the area of AB. And our VB came out to, I don't know. Let's find out what VB came out to. So VB, it's right here. We're going to look at this. We want to know what this 
forces. And when we look at the, draw the free, free body diagram of joint C right here, we're going to have this force coming up, FCD, and then we're going to have this force coming down in uh, assuming this compression and tension, FBC, and then we have the three kips there. So what we're going to do, we're going to say what is the summation uh, uh, FX and summation FY, the only one we can use. Let's use summation FX here is equal zero. And I have uh, 3 minus FBC time 3 over 5 equals 0. So FBC comes out to 5 kips. OK. Now we have 5 here divided by pi divided by 4 d b squared and db squared comes out to i mean db comes out to a little bit over one inch 1.03 so you go up to the next size use one and one sixteen that's what we're going to use this one and this one